Hey guys, we're back with KCS Games and he has got something spicy for you today. So this okay. is Tri-Brigade Melfi, mm -hmm. is that right? Oh my yep. gosh. Okay, so first of all, what made you decide to start playing this? Um, so not for sure if we'll tag him or not, but uh, a player called Paulo, uh, he has a YouTube and uh, I've been following him. He tops a lot of the uh, online tournaments and he's uh, a pretty awesome player and I uh, appreciate his builds. So I started building off of his build, and then uh, I've kind of come to like what I've been doing with it, uh, which is now significantly different than what he's doing. Awesome, um, awesome. And you've had quite a bit of success with this. What's your tournament yeah, record today? Uh, something like 23 or 24 wins with two losses, only to a uh, Mermail player. It's the same Mermail player uh, both weekends. <laughs> uh, he just was amazing at drawing his cards. Let's okay. put it that way. <laughs> okay, awesome, awesome. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into it. Yep, so um, you got your standard three, three, three and then two mm -hmm. um i still agree with this ratio you don't need three of these because you have other cards to summon. yes mm -hmm. so that's your standard lineup for try and then uh this build only plays one revolt wow um so in this build this this card's actually a brick uh, oh my you God. don't you don't want to draw it really like okay. it's you just want to search it while you're doing your combo it. because okay. the combo is so important um so yeah it's just a one of and then you have your three cats Yep. Um, which is now standard, mm -hmm. um, and your Melfi package. So it's just the one wow. puppy and then two Kalantosa. Um, I have more on this card later. I, after playing it, I realized how genius it was with this deck. Okay. So, um, okay. But if you don't know what the Melfi does, uh, whenever your opponent will, um, attack it or when they summon, you can bounce it to your hand, summon a level two or lower from your deck. Yes. Uh, of the beasts. And then, so when this is summoned off a of beast effect, you can pop a card. Oh, nice. So, nice. Um, Great and interruption. Then, yeah. And then you get a and free summon. specials. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. So, so that's yeah. it for that part of it. And then the card that is broken for this deck. And I will show you a combo with this. Uh, it's a one card, uh, three interruptions, and a follow up on the next turn uh, without using your normal summon. Wow. This card's insane. <laughs> Get them now, guys. Get yeah. them now, other cheap. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of that phrase, uh, I oh this my gosh, because uh, you have to get this to go. Um, I've been on this. Uh, Paulo is on Pot of Prosperity still. Mm -hmm. I cut it completely. I don't like it. Yeah. Um, instead, I'm using Talents to draw a card. I'm only on one in this build. Um, so this is my newest version of it. Uh, I didn't want to revert back and then like forget some of my ratios or anything. So. Uh, I'm I'm showing you guys something that I'm about to play this weekend. Uh, so anyway, I, I was on two in the one called by, but I decided that uh, one's good enough because if you don't see it and your opponent has one, you yeah. can banish it. And then if you do see it, it's talents. It's good. Nice. So, nice. So oh, that's awesome. That. Awesome. And then for the hand traps, we got just a bunch of two ofs. So oh, this, interesting. This yeah. is what's different um, about my list. And then... The three gamma and the driver, uh, nice. the real true brick. <laughs> Holy moly. So you actually have a lot of space in this deck. Uh, I think Paulo's on 15 or 16 hand traps uh -huh. himself. Uh -huh. um, but he maxes out on like everything. I um, Wow, that is so interesting. I feel like getting the um, Obedient Schooled and the Rescue Cat to trigger uh, is too important to not play the cross outs and this and the gammas yeah so that's that's why i max out on those okay um, but meister's really good in the mirror match it's good it, it's good a, it's a really good card right now so um, it's good in the mirror match of just tri brigade yes okay uh, well that and um i mean it's it's good you know overall like it, it stops any effect that would activate in the graveyard so um I, now i'm blanking but you can stop dry tron effects you can stop yeah. uh yeah. virtual world yep tons of it yep. and then ash and then this and then uh, Nibiru, I started playing because uh, my build is actually weak to Nibiru. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got nibbed a couple times. Uh, I luckily won those matches, but I felt so um, so much like I needed them myself yeah. to draw them. And then I definitely wanted them for cross out. For cross out, yeah. So, oh, so good. So that's why I so ended up good. switching this up. But there's the 40. And then um, okay, we got the... All Mirage, uh, this is the other part that's different. You need three of these. Okay. Uh, do not play this with just two. 
Oh, interesting. Uh, you will, Why the difference in the ratio? So in the combo, uh, you use two. Okay. So you need the one after for a follow-up. For a follow-up. Gotcha. So gotcha. Very important. interesting. And then you just need one of this. Uh, that searches your trap. Mm -hmm. Trap. Uh, very rarely you use the effect to summon from the banish area, but uh, it comes up. Uh, and then Dragon Lords, of course. You're one of this. Uh, I'm playing this. Uh, Apollo, I think, cut this card for Zeus. Okay. Um, I see the need for it. I don't know what I'm going to do this weekend exactly. This might end up being Zeus, but I'm going to okay. play test a little bit more. Uh, two Shrig, that's all you need. Uh huh. Um, the one Appalooza, the access code because he's broken. Yeah. This card is strictly because of when you do the combo, uh -huh. you're locked in the beasts. Nice. So if they hit you with the contact C, you can use this to get nice. rid of the contact C. It's nice. Um, and then we have the Joyce Melfies and this card. This card's what, insane. What is this in here for? The number 29. So, so there's a there's a wide variety of combos you can do with this. Okay. Uh, depending on what hand trap your opponent hits you with. Okay. So the co most common one is Ash. Um, okay. If you can land on this, you can detach the special summon Ash uh -huh. to their field. And because Ash is fire, that matches your kit. So you can special summon kit from the deck. Oh my god. And then gosh. you can you can continue to extend through an ash because of this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Number um, 29, everybody. <laughs> yeah. But uh the I thought Zeus was because of this card, which is why I didn't like it, because this this card's amazing. Uh so this summons back your Kalantosis on your opponent's turn. Gotcha. And uh so it it just provides so much interruption. I was like, that's better than Zeus because you're picking apart yes. and you're doing it at different times. Yeah. Zeus is for this. I didn't realize it had 2,000 attack. Oh my god! So it's actually a decent beater. Yes. And if you summon Ash on a turn that you can attack, you can actually attack, attack the Ash, Ash to get it off the field, oh and then you'll gosh. have two materials. Oh, that's awesome. So that, that's why I might end up playing Zeus, but uh, right now, that's, wow. that's what it is. Wow, that, that is amazing. How much has that come up? The Zeus or the... No, the mannequin? situation with the Ash. Uh... I think I did it like three times over the two weekends. So wow, not so a it, lot, but, but it, comes it does up. come up. Yeah, wow. uh, there's some unique ones. Uh, I'll have to show you guys. Okay, okay, awesome, awesome. Um, so then we have Joel and Lockbird. Um, yeah, so good for the Drytron. Matchup. Yeah, Drytron, uh, Alistair and Friends, etc. <laughs> Alistair and Friends. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so you have uh, Lancia. This is more so for the mirror and uh, against Virtual World, but also because they might cite it against you, you have Cross Out. So uh, there's that. Uh, this is my new edition, and the reason why this video is going to be postponed. Uh, <laughs> I have not had an out, a, a really good out to Dragoon in the main. Oh, And so yeah, uh, when people yeah. end on it, I'm supposed to hand trap them to Oblivion so they don't get the chance to do it right but i have stopped caring about that and i'm now citing these cards so that's why nice no it makes sense <laughs> it, it, makes needs, sense. it needed to happen and then uh this deck's worst matchup is like heavy back row so you do three twin one harpies and three lightning storm nice lightning storm is also really uh handy in the mirror match so wow wow yep. well, so uh we'll do a combo video uh right after this Okay, so we are back now, and we cannot wait to see some of this tech that you're bringing. So go ahead and walk us through what some possible combos could be. <laughs> so the Obedient School combo just resolving. Uh, you're going to have four other cards in hand. Okay. Uh, this will not use your normal summon, and okay. and uh, it'll give you three uh, interruptions on your opponent's turn oh. and uh, a follow-up for the next turn. Jiminy Christmas. So we're going to summon Kit. Okay. Sorry, uh, there we go. We're going to summon these three. Okay. All right. Uh, if you draw one of these, uh, you just summon the Karis instead. Okay. And it, it'll work out, trust me. Uh, but the key part is you're locked in the beasts now. Okay. So um, the thing is, you want to link these two off. Uh, mm -hmm. Doing it upside down, I'm... No, you're fine. So you link yeah, those two off. I might, fine. I might mess up on the zoning. <laughs> so uh, you want this in, like, away. Okay. Um, so you, the reason why I keep this one out and not the puppy is because of uh, a the follow-up, how it works. It's, okay. It's better for if they have, like, DD Crow or something. Okay, so you send the so, puppy, and, and then, then you kit. send Kit. So okay. Kit effects, send this, and then mm -hmm. it's important that you add Kit off of the Nerval. Okay. You're going to use this effect to special, and then you're going to use this effect to banish the two Tri-Brigades leaving the puppy. And we're going to summon out the one that searches Revolt. Oh, wow. 
These two are just going to turn into another Fergit because you're locked in the beasts. Oh, but you're now, still going to get the trap though. Right. You're going to chain block this with a draw. So you'll nice. draw one, put one back, and then you'll add revolt and put one back. Nice. So there's that. And then, um, so from here, you overlay these two for your joyous Melfies. And that is it with the revolt set. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna show you the interaction. So you have um, you have three cards in hand wow. in this board. So on your opponent's turn, they, let's say they play a card. You don't like it, you need to pop it. You're gonna chain Melfi uh -huh. to go back to the extra deck, detaching these two mm -hmm. and summoning back Kalantosa and Puppy. Oh my gosh. So then you're going to activate this effect to target because it was sent, uh, summoned off of a beast effect. Uh -huh. You're going to target the card that you want to destroy and then destroy it. But you're going to chain block it with Kit's effect to send Yes. It. Oh my gosh, guys. So, the chain blocking. So then you're going to be able to send another Nerval and then you're going to add Karis. All right. And then now let's say they summon again. You can bounce Puppy to summon a Kalantosa from deck and oh pop my another gosh. card. Oh my gosh. And then here's the icing on the cake. So most decks, uh, most try lists, when you have this many monsters on the board, you're not going to be able to resolve re Revolt for Shrek. But in this build, because you made this one correctly, uh -huh. you can summon these from the grave and make Shrek as your third interruption. Oh my gosh. So obviously my zoning was messed up. But no, you, but you're yeah. fine. Oh my god. So you'll be able to revolt Look for that. that guys. And you'll get another draw and put one back. Oh my god. Oh wait, no, sorry. Yeah, you already used that this turn. But still, yeah, you get your three interruptions that way, and here's your follow-up. You have a Kara special summon. Oh my gosh. So it's oh. really hard to play through, and you still have the three other cards. And in this build, I think I'm on 13 or 14 hand traps, something like that. So you're gonna draw into hand traps. I mean, it's it's awesome. So uh, oh, that seems almost unbeatable. Yeah, I mean, I understand the twenty four and two record. I mean, that's yeah, just amazing. it's really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now to show you guys just real quick the interaction with draw and um, Ash for the effect of. Mannequin Cat, so. Yeah, I cannot wait to see this. This is one of those hands where like, you kind of have to have enough to play off of, obviously. Yeah. But, but my favorite part is when you uh, when you open this. The, the other part I didn't explain about this is uh, it only locks you if you summon. Okay. So if it gets ashed, you're not locked. Okay. It's not a part of the restriction. Um, and then actually this card has no restriction. So if they stop it and you had another copy, you could just play it. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. so it's awesome like that. Um, it, it, it works as long as you have no monsters on your field. So anyway, so let's say I activate this, um, the ash. So this is the most common way, um, that this happens. So then you summon the cat and then get rid of the cat, summon out your, uh, kits. And I usually get a Kalantosa out of the way. Um, and then instead of going into your normal Tri Brigade combo because they did Ash, yeah. you can go into Mannequin Cat and then uh, detach the kit to summon Ash to their field. Oh my You're going to chain link one special from deck, chain link two send. Uh -huh. So again, chain blocking. You're going to send the uh, Nerval and then Cat is going to summon Kit. So Kit Cat. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then off of the Nerval, you'll add Karis. And then, uh, so now you can use Kit's effect to banish two. Doesn't really matter. I'd probably keep the Kit in the grave. Uh, so you're going to banish two, summon out your fair sheets. Sorry, this is all upside down no, for you guys. No, you're fine. You're um, fine. And then you use the effect to summon the Karis. And then, um, so from here, you can link off with these to make a uh, Rugal. Wow. Um, and then you uh, draw one, put one back. Um, and then you use this effect to banish four for Shrig. Yep. Oh my goodness. Or um, actually, no, this is the better play. Excuse me. You just banish two um, because you don't want to kill your Kalantos. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just banish two. Obviously, the zones play around your zones. Yes. I'm just yeah. doing it fast here. Uh, you're going to go into the Shrig this way. Um, and then chain link one, chain link two, add. So chain link one banishes the ash that you summoned. Now you still have your two, you overlay for the Melfies. 
Wow. Oh my god. And that's off of these two through an ash. Oh my goodness, that is crazy. You can everybody. do something you can do something similar. Uh it's not fantastic, but it helps you um get through a little bit of a board. If you get drolled, now you're on wind. So the cat is actually just gonna summon Nerval. Okay. Because it'll match the wind. Um, and then what you're gonna end up on, so you're not gonna be able to search because you got drolled. Yeah. So usually they, they hit you off of uh, like another Nerval effect. So it's not really mattering that Nerval is gonna stick around on the field. So you're just really trying to make some sort of interruption. My favorite uh, to end on if I get drolled is the oh, yeah. Dragon Lords. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah. uh, you'll, you should have the two um, to make it. So then you just summon this and then you're gonna basically pass, yeah. uh, which doesn't seem super strong. But what's cool is um, when it's your opponent's turn, if they go to summon something or whatever, you can bounce it with the Dragon Lords by sending uh -huh. the Nerval and then get a search off the Nerval. Oh, nice, so nice. That helps. Um, it helps a little if, bit. Yeah, if you get yeah. stunned. But um, it's really important, like I said, to make sure those cards uh, resolve. So that's why I'm on Gamma and Called By and these. So. Awesome, awesome. Well, KCS Games, thank you so much, yeah, man. Yeah, no problem. What a build. <laughs> yep. Love it. Wait for your next challenge. I know that you'll be back.